Hello my friends, I'm Sarah, welcome to Grace in My Space. Today we're doing part two of a three-part series on a guest bedroom makeover. Today we're focusing on updating furniture that you have that's existing but doesn't quite fit and making it work for your space. I have this lamp, it's a very nice lamp, but the wood tone is much lighter than any other wood tone that I have in my entire house. It's a different color family than our more grayish toned floors, and the rest of this room that I'm pulling together has a lot of dark moody colors, so we're gonna update this lamp for $15 worth of material and very little effort. Now I am going to try some gel stain on this, the same gel stain I did on the top of the small table on the back. <laughs> because turning things around hides a multitude of poor decisions. Maybe even just like the top right here. Oh! You can't see this, but I think it's pretty. Now this part, hear it? That's metal. So I, I can try the gel stain, but I don't think it's gonna work. So I have another idea for the metal portion. Here we go. Now working with gel stain is a little different than working with a regular stain. So I'm actually brushing it on. Let's see if it sticks to the metal. Meh. I'm probably not gonna like that. I'll probably have to do what I wanted to, but you brush it on and then you rub it off with a cloth and it penetrates a lot of things that otherwise um, might not have accepted stain. I did not even sand this or do anything to prepare it. Actually, I didn't even clean it. That was, that's probably a poor choice, but it's working, so we're calling it good. So I've cut my pieces to size, and now we're going to use the trusty glue gun to get these babies on here. I'm just going to run a bead down the front to tack it first. I really lucked out that the faux leather I chose was the perfect tone to match the gel stain. It looks really nice together. They match almost perfectly. And adding that leather onto the metal portion of the pole gives it a really fun detail. It makes it look custom. There is no other lamp in the world like this one. And doing those little touches is all that it takes to really transform something that just wasn't working before into something that's perfect for this space. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of creativity come out on this project. Oftentimes, my most favorite projects that I work on are the ones that are born of necessity. I didn't wanna buy a new lamp. I didn't wanna keep it the color that it was. And so the new lamp was born. The gel stain worked great over the existing finish and utilizing the same cane fabric that I did on the side table, which was part one of this series, actually ties it all together really nicely. And it also ties together the leather that's on the headboard. So I'd love to know in the comments, what do you think of kind of an out of the box way to update a lamp? Let me know if you're gonna try and update some of your existing furnishings to better fit the style of your home or the color scheme that you're going for. What's your next project? Drop it in the comments. Stay tuned for part three of this mini makeover coming soon with the full reveal of our guest bedroom. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.